In this video, we will demonstrate how to closely inspect and troubleshoot the key components of your lift. We will test the actuator, the motor assembly and gears, and the control box by using the control functions of the touchpad and the hand control. Before performing any of these inspections, please make sure to review the basic troubleshooting steps covered in the Level 1 video. If your lift does not move up or down, you may have a problem with either the actuator, the control box, or the cable that connects them. First, check the cable that runs from the actuator to the control box. If it is pinched or damaged in any way, you will need to replace the actuator and the control box. If the cable appears to be in good condition, you can move on to testing the control box. When testing the control box, you'll want to specifically check the buttons that control the up and down movement. To do this, Switch the red motor cable and the green actuator cable. By doing this, the left and right buttons on your control box should now control the up and down movement of the lift. After switching the cables, if the lift moves up and down by pressing the left and right buttons, you know the up and down buttons on the control box are not functioning properly. You will need to remove the lift from service and replace the control box. If the lift will still not move up and down after completing this test, you will need to replace both the actuator and the control box. If your lift does not move left or right, you may have a problem with either the motor assembly, the control box, or the cable that connects them. First, check the cable that runs from the motor assembly to the control box. If it is pinched or damaged in any way, you will need to replace it and the control box. If the cable appears to be in good condition, you can move on to testing the control box. When testing the control box, you'll want to specifically check the buttons that control the left and right movement. To do this, switch the red motor cable and the green actuator cable. By doing this, the up and down buttons on your control box should now control the left and right movement of the lift. After switching the cables, if the lift moves left and right by pressing the up and down buttons, you know that the left and right buttons on the control box are not functioning properly. You will need to remove the lift from service and replace the control box. If the lift still does not move left and right after completing this test, you will need to inspect the motor and gears. To access the motor and gears, you will need to first disassemble the lift. First remove the battery, then unplug the cables from the control box, including the hand control. On the PAL lift, you will need to remove the push bar. This is done by firmly gripping the push bar and pulling it up until it is free from its mounting pegs. Next, remove the seat assembly. Loosen the thumb nut on the bolt that attaches the seat assembly to the arm. Remove the bolt, then remove the seat assembly. Now remove the mast. Use a deep well socket wrench to remove the nuts attaching the mast. Remove the mast assembly and be sure to place it so that the actuator arm does not get damaged. Finally, remove the lift cover. Now you are ready to inspect the motor assembly, cables, and the gears. Start by checking the motor cable and the motor cord. If the cable is caught between the small and large gears or has been caught in the hub support frame, both the cable and the control box will need to be replaced. Check to make sure both the motor cable and the motor cord are securely connected to the terminal block. Next, inspect the small and large gears for any damage or missing teeth. If the small or large gears have been damaged, they will need to be replaced. Check to make sure the tension spring is set correctly. After confirming all of these parts show no signs of damage, you have now determined the motor is not operational. The motor assembly and the control box should both be replaced. Congratulations, you have completed the Level 2 Advanced Troubleshooting video. The next video, Level 3 Resolution, will walk you through the process of replacing individual components on your pool lift.